Hello, this is Lucas with N2V Solutions. Um, today we have a unique request. We are going to create an IVR for your employees to be able to spoof their caller ID if they should need to. So this can be called in from a cell phone, this can be called in from a landline, this can be called in from a friend's phone, anything that you don't want your customer or end customer to see a caller ID of so they don't accidentally call it back you want them to see the caller ID that you give them. So you call into the IVR and you select option 1 for company A, option 2 for company B, and option 3 for company C. It calls their respective numbers and gives them this caller ID on their screen. Now the number you call to get into the IVR for our demo here is going to be 800-555-9999. So there are several steps to doing this and we'll refer to this document just to, to grab our numbers again later on. But to start, we have to set up some caller ID rules. Um, so we're going to go to Setup and go to Outgoing Calls. And we are going to create an outgoing rule that's going to fall in place after everything else. So it's kind of going to sit off to the side. And we're going to call this Caller ID for Company A. and it's going to be any number and we're going to just use 10 digit dialing so any number 10 digits long is going to go out our normal trunk that we use and it doesn't matter if you mark it final or not but we don't want to apply it to all the phones or anything like that this is just a separate rule so we'll leave both of those no and save it and create another one caller ID company B again 10 digits long send it out the same trunk and Make one more for caller ID for company C. Now you can do this for multiple companies or if you just have one, one line for your main company just to spoof cell phones and things like that in emergency situations it's up to you. Oh, I didn't choose the right trunk on company C here so we'll modify that let's resave it so whether we're doing one caller ID or, or three or ten or as many as you want to do it doesn't matter the, the concept is all the same um, we're gonna go into then caller ID rules now this is where it this is what makes it work um, you have to choose a group of everyone, all extensions, or specifically the phone system. The uh, easiest way is to say all extensions because nobody's going to use this unless unless you tell the IVR to use it. So the rule name will be called. Uh, we'll name it a little differently here. CID rather than caller ID. Company A rule. And it's saying any anything, any outgoing call using specifically the caller ID rule for company A will get the caller ID of my company and the number. Now what was our company A is going to use the caller ID 800-555-1212. So that's what's going to go here, 800-555-1212. So anything using the call rule set up in the outgoing call rules called caller ID company A will get the, no the name, my company, and the caller ID number that we just put in. So and then we can put one in for the caller ID company B rule. 
So there's actually two rules that we're setting up, one for outgoing color ID rules and one in here. All extensions again. Now this one's going to be anything using the caller ID company B. We'll still get company name and the caller ID that we want company B to see. 555-2323. So caller ID rules use outgoing call rules to tie each other together. So caller ID company C rule. So again, I'm going to use all extensions that it could possibly call out on. And it's going to use caller ID company C. Now, When we use the uh, outgoing call rule, we don't act, we don't use the caller ID spoofing rule. The only place the caller ID spoof rule works is to apply to the outgoing call rules. In other places in the system, we read then reference those outgoing call rules, which have these rules in effect. So company C is using five 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 three four three four. So, these three caller ID rules are the rules in place that these outgoing call rules have to follow. Now, we are going to go use these outgoing call rules in IVRs. So, next step is to go to the IVR editor, tools, IVR editor, and we're going to create three IVRs, one for each company because this is how you dial out from an IVR. So we'll live, call them company A IVR. Company B IVR. If I can spell company. and company C IVR. And to the end. All right, so we have our three IVRs. Now in company A IVR, we're going to modify the actions and we are simply going to send it, tell it to dial an external number. So send to external number is the only thing this IVR is going to do. That number will be company, A, company A's number. 555-5555. So now here's where the rule comes in. When it dials out, it's going to use the rule that we created for company A. That rule for company A is going to use the caller ID information that we attached to it. And that's why, that's what will make it spoof the caller ID. Company B now, we'll go back to the IVR editor. Let's go to company B. Oop, did I just do that? I did. All right. I just put a company A's number on company C. I'm going to back that up so you can see exactly what I'm doing. We're on company C IVR, and I put company A's number on it. So we're going to change that number to company C, 7777. There we go. Oh. And I also have to change the call rule to company C. 
All right, so the company C I V R is set to dial this company C's number and use the spoofed caller ID for company C. Company A's IVR, we're going to go to that one, modify the action, is going to send to external number for the action. That number will be 877-555-5555. Use the caller ID rule for company A. And then company B. That's all that's left here. Send to external number. And we're going to use the caller ID rule for company B. Don't forget to subscribe and send us your requests.